So laid out here is like huge cannon. Cannons, because there's like three of them. And finally this one right here. And I, oh, I guess they, uh, how do they lift these things? <laughs> I was wondering like, okay, there's one missing here. Yeah, it's right here, but wow. Must have been like maybe 20 guys or something like that. 20 soldiers can lift that. Okay, so welcome to Fort George to an interpretation of the War of 1812 celebrates, celebrates multiple perspectives in our collective history. Cool. These are the pictures right now. Did anyone win? Did anyone win the War of 1812? Well, today's picture, picture. Niagara area was once frontier for battle. Many died in the conflict, were caught in the crossfire. Soldiers, warriors from various First Nations, volunteer militia, and local townspeople and fought for different reasons. Now it's a lot of reading. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna take a picture. Oh, so somebody sitting there. Just the corner of my eye, man. This is freaking me out. Because they're saying there's a lot of uh, ghost stories or a lot of paranormal activities going in here. I'm like, I'm, I think I'm just freaking out. So who's, uh, who's this guy? This is uh, James Madison, President of the United States in 1809 to 1817. These are the, what are this? This are, oh, you can see this gun here. Old gun. A mirror, walnut frame, original glass. You can see a face. Ooh. Okay. Now, we're here to, uh, um, to see the historical place of this of this fort not only ghost or anything that appears <laughs> I guess she's calling but like there's another one here oh go around okay oh yeah we gotta follow this okay First Nation at Niagara, deafening border. Definitely, you guys. Too close for comfort. If you guys haven't been here, definitely visit this place because it's quite awesome. Warm. And these are the uniforms. A miniature portrait of Edward Cotton Circa, 1781. Wow, I don't think this will fit me. <laughs> really? They look small. Because they were small. I sort oh, of got. I know what you mean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, these right. guys are like. 
Okay, I guess they're soldiers, so. I guess they were small. Soldiers small, yeah. So basically this tells you what's going on. Uh, we don't have much time to really read this, but maybe next time we can come here and uh, take a little bit more time to read this stuff. Ooh, interesting. Look at that. Original sword. So this is the British presentation sword, personal item. Uh, 1814. Parks Canada collection. Nice. This is Lieutenant General Gordon Drummond, commander of the Upper Canada, proudly reported the capture of Fort Niagara. Allies to the crown, not subject of the crown. This is pretty interesting. Studio portrait taken in July 1882 of surviving Six Nations warriors who fought with British in the War of 1812. The time to rebuild. All right, and that's it, and we're going out. We'll go up there last, okay? so cool because I went to uh, I've been to um, fourth Quebec okay yeah yeah so I, I guess that's in also British and 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 the uh, um, French yeah French yeah older than this one for older than yeah I've been you, we've been there you know this is a reproduction right yes yes, yes. due to the war <laughs> yes <laughs> unfortunately I think it was burnt right yes yeah during the battle that is being depicted said somebody forgot that there. Someone dropped it. Dropped yeah. it. <laughs> so we are here. Hopefully, we'll, we'll come back for it. But we are here, right? Yeah. We've been to Niagara Falls hundreds of times. We've never known this place before. No. We always pause. Like, no, what's Thank Niagara you. on the lake? <laughs> All right. I'll just go in the next room. Feel free to come on over and ask anything you like when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. All right. These are uh, old boat. What does it say here? The petit. Like Michigan's, forts. yeah. Yeah, Fort. The old. Yeah, there is Fort Niagara right there. Yeah. Fort George, Fort Niagara, Queenston. Queenston, Fort Erie, Chippewa, Chippewa Kingston. Kingston. Oh, is that's that where. Kingston, that's where um, Sean is Sean right now. And that's yeah. the one in Quebec that you went to. Yep, that's the one where I went. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's go in the other room. Ooh, this is even cooler. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Where they actually slept. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. These are the... It is. Wow. I loved it. Look at this. It's the warmest food. Okay, these are uh, oh, plates, spoons. Yeah. It would have been warm, but yeah, it was old stuff. These are the muskets. Yes, originally the barrack space, which is what this would have was, was an upstairs. Oh, okay, okay. And this would be like a dining room. Well, no. Old shoes. Where you came from. Oh. Because of the three block houses, you would have seen three buildings that look remarkably similar coming in, right? They were all barrack spaces, but this is the largest one. Oh, okay. So that means it's also the largest indoor storage space available. Okay. You'd rather leave the barrels down here, in the crates and all that. Um, you don't want to leave them outside. Yeah. So this is overflow space and oh, also okay. storage. And you can get the name on them. Yes. So the table for eight Thompson, eight John. Wow. They would not have been on the phone. Blaney, Robert, Andrew, John. We put it for each one of these beds have name on it. Okay. Oh, I see the drapes now. Yeah. So the corner with the drapes mm -hmm. would be the marriage where they'd be, you know, husband and wife. Okay. That's all they get is a pizza. Well, we so. actually think that they might have not had those curtains. Oh. The reason for that is one of the military regulations is that you don't use anything that is not for its intended purpose. Uh -huh. So if you have a linen sheet, it's meant to be a sheet to cover your body. Yes. And these people were insanely practical. So they'd rather be warm mm -hmm. than have a little... Privacy. Yes. Privacy. Yes, of course. Of course. And our notion of privacy like, came from more the Victorian era, right? Not the Georgian. Yes. Um, so modesty was still crazy important at this point, but not the idea of, you know, this is my space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space. yeah. Cool. So I guess that's close upstairs, right? Yeah. Today there's nothing up there. So nothing up there. Have exhibits downstairs. Ghost tours goes upstairs, uh, but we don't. <laughs> can I go up there? Say no, no. Off. <laughs> you uh, purchase a ticket to a ghost tour and go to one of those. They will. Yes. Yeah. We're well, we're gonna go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So. I can tell you that it's empty, dark, and there's bunk beds. Uh, it's so great. I'll get my spirit that's box. Maybe place. there's something <laughs> up there. <laughs> so there's another building over there that's open. Oh, uh, yeah. The exit's out this way, and there's oh, a few. Like, just oh, a few, actually. Like, oh. Put up your map. I can point it out to you. Yeah, we've been to that one, but the one... Oh, the bigger one. Yeah, the yellow one. The yellow one. There's okay. also a kitchen in behind, and an artificial shop. And Can't go into it, unfortunately. It is locked. You mm -hmm. can see it. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your visit. Thank you. you too. Enjoy the evening. The Halloween. Yes. Came <laughs> right. all the way to the song, by the way. Oh, wow. Thank you. Because, um, yeah, I want to see the musket thing. Okay. That's the exit. Well, you gotta go. Maybe we're not allowed to use the board. Step on the board or something. What? What is this? Let's play chess. I don't think we're allowed to come here, but that's cool. Oh, look at this grandfather clock right there. And uh, more sword here, but unfortunately, we can't go beyond this rope. Oh, and you, oh, 
Yeah, that's right. You can go around. Use all the arrows, right? So this is uh, officer coat, swords, and headdress. Dora's like five hundred pounds. I know. <laughs> Are you coming in here? Hello, sir. Oh, beautiful. Uh, this is our first time coming here, so uh, we're just taking a look around. It's it's awesome. Well, I hope you enjoy what we have to offer. Obviously, it's a little bit different uh, this year, but uh, uh, yeah. but you know, if you have any questions, that's why we get dressed up different clothes. No problem. We're just gonna take a look around and uh, come back. <laughs> Oh, nice pictures here. Oh, that's a fireplace. Fireplace. Oh, you have to see this. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, chicken with chicken bones or whatever. Oh, that's a duck. These are ducks or geese. Pig. They eat geese, they eat uh, pork. Chicken that's is right fish. there. Uh, really old, ancient stuff. Fish. What kind of fish is that? Salmon. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a bird, too. Look. Yeah, they eat a bird. Yeah. The sheep. There's a menu right here. Oh, they have menus? See the menu, look. Where's the menu? Right there. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> what do we have for breakfast? Uh, oh, breakfast. they have, I don't know, breakfast. So they have, uh, well, maybe you guys can't see course, it. First second course. Bill of fare. Suppose order dishes or to stand up on table. Okay. So uh, first course. Dish of fish. Herb soup, boiled goose, and stewed red cabbage. First course, uh, or, uh, oh, that's number one, two, three, four, is wild duck, potted ham. Wow. That's cool. How's it going? Very good. Good, good. I'm doing well. Do you guys have any questions about anything? Yeah, yeah what is this, uh, what is this place <laughs> we're in right now? Yeah. So this is more representative of what a more senior officer would have had. Um, I actually wouldn't have been here inside Fort George. As Fry was mentioned, my apologies, as uh, Mr. Mitchell was telling you guys, typically it would have been more of like a, a dorm style. So this is more representative of what you would have found in town because superior officers tend to make a little more money and they're typically married and that's kind of what the incentives that they have to move over into the town. So this is their kind of day area and then this is their bedroom area. Um, it doesn't seem like much in comparison to today, where you have huge houses, right, your mansions and stuff like this, but mm -hmm. this would have been considered very, very large. And the higher up you go in the army, actually the more space is allotted to you. Oh, okay. Um, it's kind of the general quick rule, if you will. Right. Cool. Are you doing the muscat? I am, yes. I, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys didn't kind of miss any information. Yeah, we wanted wanted. to come and see that as well. Come and see that, yeah. <laughs> so you're starting it soon, right? Yeah, I'm actually going to go fire the morning class. I'll be starting in about five minutes. Okay, come on, right? Finish that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, there you have it. That's what this is. This place. Yeah, uh, their living quarters. Like this. This is their, their living quarters. Ooh. Their bed. Hey, old bed. Wow, they're not very tall people, are they? <laughs> it's like what I. They're not too short. Look short. Your wash basin. Oh, wash basin. Yeah. Yeah, you put water. Awesome. You awesome. Oh, look at this giant chest.
Hey, they have musk back then? What? Yeah, musk is... Uh... Wow, that's old. Oh, I missed this one. So, senior officer's bedroom. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's go. I want to hear that. Muscle. All right. So, we're getting out now, and uh, they have a play. Wow, the door is like 500 pounds. <laughs> okay, let's uh, wow. close it up. Oh, here. We can come back here. Actually. We have to come back here. Look, there's more here. Yeah, there's more there, yeah. All right. Was uh, oh, the actual thing? Okay. I know, but I want to see. Another one. So how many times? Four times? Okay, this is the third one. Okay, let's let's go in here first. That's the building we're looking for. Alright. This this is the artificer shop. Uh -huh. That's cool. Can't really see much in here. Something like that. Wow, so that's how you repeat the uh Yep, the blacksmith. Giant uh fireplace. Yep. Yeah. Here we go. The original building. Oh, okay, let's go to the Magazine historic cult cultural preservation. So, this is built in 1796, the powder magazine. It was the only fourth building to survive the War of 1812, which make it, makes it one of, if not the oldest surviving military building in the province of Ontario. During the war, hundreds of barrels of gunpowder were stored within these thick stone walls. I don't think I don't think you can go in there, right? No, you can walk around. 
Yeah, I don't think we can go in there, but I'm gonna walk around it. Uh, the one in, in, in Quebec, Fourth Quebec, um, the, the one of this, like this, actually blew up. <laughs> yeah, one of the gunpowder store, store, storage blew up. Yeah, wow, look at these. Eh? Okay. Yeah. Look at the size. What does the size say? Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I guess this is the old well. What is? Oh no, they store the gunpowder in there. I don't know. What is this? It looks like a well to me. Yeah, maybe it's a well. Old well, huh? So what is this? Can I go in there? Oh no, this is like a guard or something. I don't know. Hmm. It's a giant door. Yeah. Off. Hey Lou, what's in there? Ooh. Hello? I'm freaking there. <laughs> Holy shit. You see anything? Uh, it's a long hallway. Yeah. With lights. See? Oh, is that where they used to, like, um, I guess, yeah. hide? I guess. That would be like neat for uh, ghost hunting. Wanna go up there? Uh, this is cool, man. Huh? What? Why? Oh, uh, muddy. It does say no public access. Here? Down there because they're repairing it, right? Oh, they don't want it. So I guess the, the cannon would be right here and overlooking the overlooking the uh, water. I guess these were supposedly uh, put the cannons in here and ready to fire. If there's any enemies. Really interesting. So I don't know what building this is or what. What is, what's inside? Looks like those are. Yeah, I can't really see much. Looks like cooking. I see like, I I see like uh, those those steel fridges. I know. Yeah. Another building. And my battery's running out. Oh, this is where you store the um at the time there were no modern refrigerators. Yep. Tin cans or covered boxes food were stored in barrels. Oh. That's cool. 
Good Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, we walked in the wrong way. Thank you. Oh, we were. <laughs> oh, this is the kitchen where they cook and everything. Uh-huh. First, oh, here's cool. another menu. It's another menu. So what we have today? Of, first what, course. What does it say? Chicken, lamb pie, tongue veal cutlass. Tongue and turnips. That's, oh. Tongue and tur uh, tongue and turnips. I wonder what kind of tongue that is. <laughs> Who's tongue? Maybe like a uh, sheep beef. tongue, beef. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Who's tongue? Wow, that's a butcher's block. Yeah, I'm running out of battery. Oh, it's so dark. Wow. Wow. Get a shot after the second picture. Yeah, yeah, I did. Did the trees in the background? Yeah, I will. Well, I better not use this one then. Oh, you can't even go inside, no? No, you can look through. Okay. The military, whoa. Oh, this is the military prison, the black hole. Whew. That sounds interesting. Let's go, let's get into the black hole. Oh no, you can't, you can't go in there. This is the prison. Wow. So this is where they keep the prisoners or... Yeah. Prisoners, obviously. Can I uh, open my spirit box so we can talk to them? You do whatever you want to do. Let's see the other side. Yeah. Okay, come on. Go see the other side. Guardhouse. This is the guardhouse. Oh, I guess the person that's guarding all the prisoners. Yeah. What's that up there? Okay, I really see it because it's just the floor. Like an upper floor. Maybe where they sit the people down to say, okay, you did this, you did this, you did this, go to jail. Yeah. I'll kill you because, you know, this is the way they did yeah. Oh, and Victoria and Mary. 